Now to check the electronics, let's install the mobile device onto the remote controller. Connect your USB cable and turn the remote on by pushing the power button once, pushing again, and holding. Once, again, and holding. And it's on. All right, let's turn on the aircraft by pushing the power button once, pushing again, and holding. When the aircraft turns on, the rear LEDs will begin cycling through flashes of red, green, and yellow. This indicates the aircraft is doing a self-check. The gimbal and camera will also do a self-check and turn in each direction before self-stabilizing. The aircraft will then go into warm-up mode and will flash a slow yellow. All right, let's now launch the mobile app to make sure there is a picture. Now let's test and learn how to start and stop the motors with the propellers off. The remote controller uses a CSC, or combination stick command, to start and stop the motors. So to start the motors, pull both sticks down and in, just like this. This is commonly known as arming the motors. Once the motors have spun up, they will idle. Make sure the motors are spinning smoothly and there are no irregular sounds. If you hear any abnormal noises, shut down the motors and take your Phantom 3 to your nearest repair center. Okay, our motor test is now complete. Stop the motors by pulling the throttle or left stick down for more than three seconds, like this. Now let's turn off all of our electronics before installing the propellers, starting with the aircraft. Press the power button once, again and hold. Now the remote controller. Pressing the power button once, again and hold. And it's off. The first thing we want to do is check the propellers for any damage before installing them. Scratched or damaged propellers may be out of balance and your Phantom 3 may not perform at peak efficiency. If they are damaged, make sure to replace them with a fresh set.